All right, welcome to another First Look 360 video. Today we're going to go through the USAR LR. That's the USAR Long Range Kit. It's our number one seller. So for the LR, we've made some changes uh, to the, the kit itself as well as the foam. So I really have to say kudos to the team in uh, HQ. They've done a really fantastic job of laying out the kit. No more bag. Everything has its place. So it'll easily recognize if something's missing. So starting with the LR camera itself. So the LR camera looks and presents just like our original camera, except now this one here has two main differences. First, you can go up to 300 feet with an optional cable hardwired with this unit. And the second thing is that you can leave the batteries inside, right? With our previous version, as soon as you put the batteries in, they start discharging whether the camera's on or not. This one does not do so. It only discharges when the camera's actually live. Right, so the LR camera itself, right underneath the camera, you'll find the environmental lid. Right, this allows us when we put this on here to go up to 10 feet underwater for 30 minutes, IP68. When you're not using the environmental lid, you're using the speaker mic lid to have a two-way conversations with potential victim or any individual who's on the camera side. All right, so that just pops nicely down underneath. I'll just put that back here for a moment. Then going from the right to the left, we have a sunshade uh, for the tablet. The tablet itself is still a Samsung product, the Active Pro. It's their high-end version, IP68, sitting inside a RAM mount so that we can actually mount this entire thing directly onto the pole, which I'll get to in a moment. Now, the beautiful thing about this is the, the case is also easy to carry the, the tablet around in. If you do decide to put the tablet into a otter box or some kind of protective case, you're likely going to have to remove this from the kit. It just doesn't fit. Then we have a hardwired uh, cable here, 10 feet. Now, it's not often you will use um, a 10-foot cable, uh, but if you're going to do underwater, you have to because wireless does not work underwater. So we've improved the jacketing of this cable. Uh, it's much thicker. It's much more resilient. However, it is a little tougher to get down the pole. You have to put it in like a corkscrew method. Just keep spinning the cable to get it down the pole. So as I proceed along here, I'm going to make a mess of the kit. Don't worry about that. Is because we have two-way communication, we've got a headset. Now, this is one that can be worn with your safety helmet, right? So it's a safety product. It's 24 NRR rated. So it reduces the dB noise outside by 24 decibels. So that's very helpful when you're trying to listen into the space. Now, if you don't want to wear something this large as a hot day, the tablet has Bluetooth in it. So by all means, use earbuds, you know, um, AirPods, whatever you like, Bluetooth headsets, right? Now, the 100-foot cable is optional. However, with the redesign of the case now, there's room for it to sit inside the case. So no longer is it at a separate accessory in a separate bag or separate box. So it's easier to keep it aligned. Now, this is, uses a different type of technology than the previous version. It's no longer USB tethering. It's a loose form of like Ethernet. So we're using Cat5 type cables for it, right? Uh, so that's kind of nice. So that's where we can get up to 300 feet. So that's 100 foot is also optional. Then as we go along here, this is something we've included for quite some time. It's a power bank. So your tablet will last about seven hours, roughly, depending on temperature and usage. This one will extend it. This is a 10,400 milliamp extra power source. So you can basically plug the tablet using the cords provided and keep running. All right. So there's the space for it. All right. To power the camera, we use two lithium-ion batteries that we hold in this smart holder, okay? The smart holder is there to protect you when you have it in your pocket so you don't make contact with coins, coins or keys. Uh, they, the, the, the smart holder, you can also reverse, like if you've used up two batteries, you can put them in the opposite way, and you know this would have to be charged, right? So that's kind of a handy way of using this one. But here, please use the smart holder when you're transporting the batteries. Uh, we do give the option to hold the CR123As. If you've run out of juice and you need to use disposables, those are the lithium ion short disposable batteries. Those are quite handy. Now, to charge these lithium ion batteries, we use an XStar charger. 
This charger now is a little different from before, so you no longer have to carry around a bulky um, transformer that plugs into the wall. You Now it's USB-C. So you can go directly into USB-C ports in your vehicle, or you can go into like the adapters, which we all have drawers full now after years of cell phones, right? So it really helps dramatically um, charging this in multiple different locations. It really opens up the area, especially internationally. Uh, we also include an, an AC adapter for the uh, tablet in here as well, and the cords, all tucked nicely underneath the charger. Now, as we go along, one of the new additions to the USAR kit is uh, the paint pole adapter. So this thing here, basically, you can go to Home Depot, buy yourself a nice 20-foot telescoping pole. You can add this to the top of that pole, and then the camera slides nicely, screws in here. So now you can extend your range, basically creating a super pole out of your camera. So it's got a nice spot located right here. Now one of the beautiful things about the LR's design and the whole FL360 is that this is the entire camera. So now we can actually add accessories to the back of the camera, thereby allowing us to do a vertical drop, right? So it's no longer tied to a pole like traditional systems are. So now you can do a vertical drop with this camera, uh, always two lines. Always two lines. Even if you're using the hard wire in the port, make sure you always have a backup line. A couple of reasons. A, it holds the camera steady. The, you drop with one and you hold the other one. It keeps it from spinning. And two, it allows you safety. This is the most expensive thing in the kit. You do not want to tell your chief that you drop it down a hole and can never recover it. All right? So that's there. That's the eye hook. Again, it has a uh, spot specifically for that. I can't reinforce enough how nice it is to look at the kit and know if something's missing, if it's still in somebody's pocket. You can so you can put that together, right, before you leave the scene. Uh, four millimeter uh, screwdriver, that's just basically to remove the back so you can put the batteries into the camera, right? So it sits reside there. Underneath we have another little Allen key. What this does, this allows us to adjust this fine collar here. And I'll go into pole position here in a moment when I talk about the pole. But this little Allen key allows you to make that adjustment. So we include one of those in the kit. If they're lost, that's something easy that can be found at your local hardware store, right? So now the pole. So the pole telescopics out to 10 feet, okay? And uh, the reason for that is 10 feet is the maximum you can go underwater. So you run the cord down through, it comes out here, you attach it to the, the camera, you put the environmental lid on, you can go out 10 feet into that water space, right? So that's one of the reasons we stuck with 10 feet, right? The other reason is that it fits nicely in this case that's small, so it can fit onto a pallet, right? So logistics individuals were always kind of coming at us when we had bigger cases in a previous life, and they never fit on the pallet and it created a lot of havoc, right? We do include a bipod on here, so this is quite nice, so you don't actually end up uh, putting the camera accidentally into the dirt, right? So you can hold it here. It also acts as sort of a leverage point. If you've got this thing fully extended and the camera's down, it takes a lot of the pressure of holding the camera, although it is fractionally lighter than any of our competitors in the marketplace. So why the pole so important um, for the positioning in this collar? Well, when you actually insert the camera and you screw it all the way to the threads, doesn't have to be tight. Don't over tighten this, right? But when you get to the end, it should always be in this position. If it's not with the heat sink to the right, then you want to actually adjust this collar using the Allen key until it's perfect. So that way nobody has to think about positioning. They know when they get to the end of the thread, it's in the correct position. And the reason for this is, this is your right camera. This camera here where the speaker mic is, is your left camera. So as you go inside the space and you're operating the software on the tablet, wirelessly or wired, right will always be right, left will always be left, and therefore up is up, down is down. It's important for positioning. So no more turning the camera like you're used to with articulating camera heads, right? So you put the camera in and you go up, down, left or right, or further into the space. Now, quarter turn and then tighten it back up again. Quarter turn, tighten it back up. I'm probably going out of frame here. But this is important. If you keep on threading these poles, there's little pieces inside that will either get damaged or lost, and you'll render that pole useless. So quarter turn, out, lock it back in again.
right? So that's the important part. We do include a shoulder harness so you can attach one link here and one link on the back and you can use it like a shoulder harness, right? Then the ram mount just screws right on here, but we find in the field that uh, generally one person is responsible for the camera and the pole, getting it into the right void spaces. The second individual is using the tablet and uh, covering themselves out of the sun or the rain or the snow, and that works as a great two-person combination. So that is the new FL360 long-range camera, the LR. We also have uh, long-range versions of our RSK, our Rapid Search Kit, and our Medic Rescue Kit. All right, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Call anytime you have questions.